Go. Another back. <laughs> another problem. Uh, uh, another question I have mm-hmm. is, in that regard, following up with a similar question as last question, would be, say you have um, one of the biggest topics in today is medical care. Yeah. It, it's divide. It's dividing people along the political paradigms. No, I'm not so sure about that, but. Uh, people are dividing their responses towards it upon, upon their already divided political paradigms. Okay. Uh, but in and of itself, it's not going to split so much except for people who have never really thought about those things. And uh, since it's about questions of the free market, I'm going to anticipate the rest of your question right quick because I'm already talking. Uh, the fact of the matter is we really have a piss-poor system. I'm sure it's better in many places, uh, but as I recently read from a source I can't remember offhand, so don't quote me on this. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I looked at the, at the camera for that one. Um, we are sitting like the 49th best uh, healthcare thing. And uh, the problem with it we have right here in our own system is that, um, for one thing, they limit the number, they limit the number of uh, doctors. They do this through the AMA. AMA is a private institution. The AMA lobby to get that kind of special thing where anyone who wants to be a doctor in the United States mm-hmm. must be AMA certified. Or, yeah, as I understand it, Adam would say something out here, and I'm probably overgeneralizing a lot of little things, right? But one of the biggest things I've heard it has been the AMA. That's just, that's just one thing, right? If mm-hmm. You can even have medical treatments along the same lines with different groups who... Uh, don't need to be AMA certified. Uh, that in that ends of itself would provide for more doctors. Because AMA right now currently limits the number of people who can become doctors. Okay. Now, um, there's also the factor that, that uh, they also control a lot of the medical schools too, which uh, which uh, limits the uh, number of medical schools put out number of doctors and uh, things like that. There are a number of procedures out there who are which are much more expensive because they are. Uh, because by law or by regulation in 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 the hospitals or whatever, right? Um, they have doctors must be the ones who give those procedures, despite the fact that you could probably get cheaper through the nurse and just as well through the nurse through a nurse or through a uh, med student or something like that. And uh, yeah, I know some med and some med students have to in, med students have to intern into a hospital, so you're gonna get some that infected as well. But they're gonna be but they're gonna have a doctor with them to make sure they're not screwing around essentially, right? Um, which is not necessarily a bad idea, it's just simply the way it is. Uh, now, there's also the fact that uh, as the prices started to go up uh, and um, the need for insurance, more or less, started going in there, and the fact that the government mandates a lot of these things nowadays too, causes the prices to rise as well. We're talking in a situation that, uh, before you get into the insurance part of this thing, we started in a position where you could have a kid in like 1950s Mm-hmm. For thirty-five dollars, and that's if the mother was able to stay, uh, was allowed to stay in in the hospital overnight or for a day or two. I'm not exactly sure, but it was it was like obscenely low, thirty-five dollars. I I pay more to fix my freaking stuff than thirty-five dollars, right? But nowadays, uh, if you want to get have your child born in a hospital, you're gonna pay five to six grand, and that's an average cost as well, because some places be more, some places be less. Uh, which is why I think there's a rise in birthing centers nowadays, which is much cheaper in the cases. And uh, it overlooks the fact that in the case of uh, some guys up in New Hampshire, there was um, an Oath Keeper's kid, which was uh, stolen was by the side government. Of the yeah. report? What's this? Didn't the Ridley report on YouTube report Yeah, really, really didn't mention a lot of it. And he really is a great guy in that kind of sense. Um, because he also came back up when things started to show up that maybe he didn't get the whole story in the first place. Uh, anyways, now, continuing on, back on the insurance part. Insurance was brought up more or less because uh, back during the Great Depression, they couldn't, um, they had not only had, they had minimum prices for things like uh, your, your labor, they also had maximum prices. So you, they, they couldn't, uh, maximum wages as well. Mm-hmm. And... Um, at least that's how I understand it. I may be technically wrong in that factor, mm-hmm. but uh, they couldn't couldn't compete for better employees uh, with, the, with higher wages. So they added health insurance and other things, 
that uh, would bring better employees to them. And this is where the idea that the government, that, that, the, uh, that your boss should pay for your health insurance came about. And it's not to say necessarily that it's a, that's a necessarily a bad idea. It's just simply that's where, how it came about. And um, there's the factor that uh, since if you want to do business in a particular state, and it is based more on states than it is on the federal level today, you have to be registered, um, licensed in, the, in any kind of business, including insurance business. Mm -hmm. And um, so you have limiting effects. In fact, here in Idaho, all we have, I think, is Blue Cross and Blue Shield, with the exception, of course, VA. And, um, and that's really kind of one of the things I was worried about with Allred, uh, the Democratic candidate for uh, U.S., um, for Idaho uh, governor, uh, 2010, had, because he mentioned um, wanting into a regional system. And while that sounded really interesting because it'll let you buy insurance from other states, right? Mm -hmm. If all those states only have Blue Cross Blue Shield, we're really just going for a regional, we're just look, they're really just looking for a regional rate for one provider. Okay. Which is a monopolizing effect rather than a diversifying effect. Uh, well, and that, of course, goes into like the pharmaceuticals and drugs out there too. Uh, basically saying that it's our, the number of doctors and other health issues out there is, is severely limited and um, and uh, not by the technical thing that we may not necessarily want to be that kind of. That's why things go up in price is when they're artificially limited or truly limited too. You know, It's uh, the fact that you could have a lot more people being doctors and the price would be a lot cheaper in the future if you had a free market. One of the big sticking points on on this debate of do we go to a free market or do we stick with what we have? Well, the, uh, it, it, before we uh, get to that, there I want to say that we don't have, we're not having a debate. Okay, I'm 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 <laughs> saying I I'm, I know we're not having a debate. What I'm saying is there's a debate going on right now on the sticking points of the two types of systems. One of the big it was an intro to a question. I know that's why I didn't stop you. And I say, I, I should point out the fact that we're not having that debate. Okay. And that's how you took that. But I was using a collective term I, I'm trying to, kept, I should really try to cut myself off of. The country is not having that debate. Okay. The country's having the debate between what they think the free market is. And that's usually given by the Republicans and conservatives, and they're wrong in that sense. Okay. And what they think a more socialized system is. Okay, well... Uh, thank you for correcting me on that. Uh, let me reintroduce the question. Okay. Uh, we're at eight minutes for this particular part, though, so... Okay, start over then if you want. All right, you can start over for this one? Yeah, so we're going to at least four videos here. How many questions we have before I stop this? Okay, two more. Two more? Okay. Uh, are you saying that because we're getting it up in videos, or is there actually more? There's there's actually more, but... If we you... can do more. It's no problem. Okay. 